I grew up in Slinger, Wisconsin, about 30 minutes north of here. Um, you know, lived there for pretty much all throughout high school. I went to Whitewater for college, and then the last year I moved to Minnesota. Um, and all throughout that time I was doing music. It really was just always a part of my life. I, I would pretty much credit it to my dad being a very big Dave Matthews fan back in the day. And I just would just sing into the refrigerator door handle and like from like three years old on and just it, it never really, never really went away, so. It's around about the route I take my morning drive. Bon Iver being from Wisconsin when I found him um, kind of really influenced me to start playing music around here too because you know growing up all, a lot of artists are either from LA or New York and you're like ah oh, that's cool but uh, to kind of follow in his footsteps a little bit and be like all right someone can actually have great art made here and right from where I'm from was really cool too. My parents got me like a little first act guitar when I was like three. Little did they know I was left handed and it was a right handed guitar so I learned the right handed guitar upside down um, and by the time I understood how weird that was it was already too late and I had to like just kind of run with it. But uh, yeah, I learned, kind of picked up on my own, like I said, listening to Dave Matthews Band back in the day and, and kind of picking up on other artists, you know, as I grew up and, and kind of learning what chords were, even though they were backwards. And um, but I, I think that kind of helped me find a little bit more of my own unique sound, which, which is kind of cool. The passion I have as a musician has always been kind of something that is constantly changing. Um, I'd say when I was younger, it was always about singing, songwriting, um, writing songs, and doing something like that. But you know, the more I listened to different types of music and kind of really fell into this like love for music that really is kind of glitchy and like not like things are coming out of nowhere and kind of very live, alive songs. Um, that was when I kind of got into production and trying to understand, you know why all these little things that are coming out of left field and out of nowhere in a song are, are what make it really emotional and what make it kind of kind of drive the song to be what it is. Um, and that is something that obviously, like I said, it's still a huge passion and huge thing of, me, of mine for like anything in music. Sweetheart, lie down. Um, but I would say now, after playing more shows and being in Milwaukee, especially now, and having a live audience hear a song in a completely different way than what I had it in my head um, when I'm like recording is, is really cool. You know, I and just to be able to see how a song will make someone feel in person, and they can come up to me after and you know kind of tell me about what they were going through. It's a really cool feeling, and um, but just music in general, the passion just lies like I can't not talk about it, I can't not think about it. Everyone that I'm around at all times, I'm going to be talking about music or hear something and, and I, I love people like that in my life that are, are the same way, whatever their passion is, it doesn't have to be just music, but I think if you, if you can't not talk about or feel the love for what you're doing at all times, you know, I don't know, I don't know what the point is, you know. <laughs> Cause the water is much clearer It's my favorite form of how music like can sound is just absolutely stripped back and there's been times where I wanted to put a full band together um, and there's other times too when I feel like what I bring with the guitar and just my voice and making people kind of calm down and have a quiet atmosphere I think that is something that my music brings especially when it's just me and the guitar um, and having a setting like this especially at Anodyne this this place I had a, one of my first gigs down here um, right before I moved down to Bayview here I, I kind of played here the night before and it was a really really cool entry into this area. A setting like this is, is very beautiful and I think this is just, like I said, my favorite form of music is just absolutely stripped back. Because, you know, there can be all sorts of production and things at the end of the day, a song is a song and, and it's going to show for itself what, what, you know, what it brings to the table. Supported by the Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra, whose mission is to engage and captivate diverse audiences through acclaimed musical performances and inclusive education. Information at mso.org.